everyone. So this is Teacher Marilyn. So in this video, you discuss ko sa yung about sa uh, uh, volume. So we define volume as the amount of space occupied by an object. So you can imagine na, for example, kung meron kayong kahon, meron kayong box, and then let's say maglalagay kayo ng um, objects doon. So kung ilan yung kaya niyang ilaman na objects, it refers to the volume. Okay? So, kung for example, meron kayo, let's say, na um, glass, okay? And then, meron kayong water. And then, kung lalagyan nyo ng water yung glass, yung amount ng water na pwede nyo ilagay dun sa glass, it also refers to the volume of the glass, okay? So, meron ako dito different formulas ng um, mga three-dimensional objects such as the cube, the rectangular prism, the sphere, right, cir uh, right circular cylinder, right circular cone, and right square pyramid. So, ito yung mga common objects na um, minimeasure natin yung volume. Pero in general, um, the easiest way to remember the volume is this is just equal to the area of the base times height. Okay, so let's take this example. A water tank is 90 meters long and 60 meters wide. What is the volume of water in the tank if the depth of water is 40 meters? Okay. So, meron tayong um, water tank. So, assume natin na ito ay isang rectangular prism. So, ganito ang itsura niya. Yan. Okay? So, wherein, ang sabi dyan, meron tayong a uh, length na 90 meters. And then, meron tayong width na 60 meters. And then, yung depth ng ating water is 40 meters. So, let's compute for the volume. Okay, so that will be LWH. So length, width, times height. So that's um, length natin is 90. And then times 60 meters, the width. And then yung ating height na 40 meters. So yung volume ng water will be, so this is 216,000 um, cubic meters. Yan. So let's try this example. Near stores is iguana food in a can that is 8 inches tall and has a diameter of 6 inches. He stores his hamster food in a can that is 10 inches tall and has a diameter of 5 inches. Which can is larger? So sa problem na to, nagko-compare tayo ng dalawang can. So this yung mga can is in the shape of a cylinder. So una muna natin i-compute yung volume ng first can. Okay, so, ito yung pinaglalagyan niya ng iguana food. So, meron daw tong um, height na 8 inches. And then, it has a diameter of 6 inches. So, 6 inches ang kanyang diameter. So, since ang diameter natin is 6 inches, so that means ang ating radio, so di-divide lang natin to by 2. So, that's 3 inches. Okay, so to compute for the volume of the iguana can, so lalagay ko lang lang dito ay, so that is pi r squared h. Okay, so yung palitan natin ng 3.1416, and then yung r squared, so tagamitin natin yung 3 inches squared, and then meron tayong height na 8 inches. So, pag nirad up natin, this is 226 cubic inches. Now, paano naman yung um, volume ng hamster can? So, sa volume naman ng hamster can, so same formula pa rin, so pi r squared h. So, that's 3.1416. Pero this time, yung radius na binigay niya, okay, so meron tayo ditong diameter. Okay, so ang diameter na binigay is 5 inches. So therefore, yung radius natin is 2.5 inches. So, okay, so yung radius natin is 2.5 inches kasi dinivide natin yung 5 by 2. 2.5 inches squared. And then sabi dyan, yung height niya is 10 inches. So, yung volume ng ating hamster can is, can is 196 cubic inches. So, kung po-compare natin sila, therefore, we can say that 
the volume of the iguana can is greater than the volume of the hamster can.